thank you so much for coming to my channel uh, my name is Emily and today I'm about to talk about biomedical sciences when I tell people I'm a biomedical scientist I get questions like what do you do or what's that all about so today I'm here to um, enlighten or to tell you all what uh, biomedical sciences is and also where biomedical scientist is this is going to be a series of videos so I'll be talking about what biomedical sciences is, how to become a biomedical scientist, what uh, courses to study, how the courses are assessed, how to get a job, the qualifications and the registrations you need to have, the standards you need to meet, uh, various jobs uh, in biomedical sciences, uh, working in the lab uh, in the NHS and also the different roles and responsibility and the grades and I hope I'm able to um, share or enlighten some people about what biomedical sciences or what uh, being a biomedical scientist is. So what is biomedical science? Biomedical science is a broad range of medically related sciences that looks into how the human body works, both in a normal state and also in a disease state. It gives uh, information into how to diagnose diseases, how to treat them and also how to manage patients. It involves the application of this knowledge through various laboratory techniques into the diagnosis and treatment of, of various diseases. So you could study biomedical science at a bachelor's level and also at a master's level and also you could uh, go on to have a PhD in biomedical sciences. So how important is biomedical science in the field of medicine? Um, biomedical science is actually the core of medicine in the fact that it provides answers for doctors in the diagnosis and the management of various diseases. It provides information from tests or laboratory procedures and these informations are what the doctors use uh, to know how to treat their patients. Symptoms can be managed, appropriate treatment plan or management can be put in place for various uh, conditions. So is biomedical sciences right for me? Is this something I should study? I would say yes, it's quite an interesting field of study, but I think it's best when you have a huge interest in biology, when you have a huge interest to how the body works, or various diseases, and also if you are interested in finding out how diseases are treated or why do people get sick, what are the contributing factors to various diseases. Also, you need to have some interest in medicine in regards to how diseases occur and how diseases are managed and treated. So I know some people that are really interested in working in the healthcare industry and they don't really want to be a doctor or they don't want to have the huge responsibility of being a doctor. So biomedical sciences gives them that platform to still be working in the healthcare sector without having the huge burden or the huge responsibility of being a doctor. So if you're interested in knowing how the body works, how diseases happen, and how to treat them, the tests you need to do, or the investigations that need to be carried out before diseases are diagnosed and treated effectively, so I would say biomedical sciences is the right one for you. So how long does it take to uh, study biomedical sciences on a bachelor's level? It actually depends on the university. Most universities are three years and some four years. And there are two types of four years. The first one uh, involves you studying for four years, but in between that four years, you have a period where you go into a lab for a period of 15 to, or to around 18 weeks where you learn the practical side of biomedical sciences and you come back and complete the final modules of your degree. And another route is the four-year route where you take a whole year and go into a lab to learn the practical side of biomedical sciences. So that's usually called like biomedical sciences with sandwich or sandwich year. So you take a whole year out to go study, to go learn the practical side of biomedical sciences. So the three year route, you just go in and study all the modules. You don't get the opportunity to go into a laboratory or to go into an healthcare laboratory to actually learn the practical side of biomedical sciences. But the four year courses offer you the opportunity to go in and learn the practical side of biomedical sciences, which is quite important. The four year where you get to go for 15 to 18 weeks is usually based on merit. So it's usually the best of the best in the class that gets to go on this placement. So it's advisable to put in all your efforts as soon as you start your degree because every of your points will count when it's time for you to go to the placements you 
are going to be eligible on, on merit. So there's limited space for everyone. So the best students are the ones that go. So you could enter study the three years and the four years. The downside of the three years is that you don't have the practical side of working in the healthcare sector, but the four years um, gives you the opportunity. Another route is going through a foundation year. So if you don't meet the entry requirements, you can go through a foundation year plus either three or four years degree. So that would give you the opportunity to learn the rudiments of sciences, chemistry, biology, the basics of science. So by the time you get into the first year of your biomedical science degree, you have an idea of what um, to expect. So what are the entry requirements to study biomedical sciences at a bachelor's level? This requirements varies from one university to another, but majority of the universities require you to have A levels to a good standard, including um, two science subjects like biology or chemistry or physics. So you could also have uh, international baccalaureate, um, B Tech diploma or B Tech extended. So some asset access course to sciences. So all these requirements differ from universities to universities. So in addition to the access to science and other requirements, some require you to have GCSE in English and Maths. And also if English is not your first language, you might be required to take an exam to uh, access your English proficiency. And that exam is the International English Language Testing System. And by this, um, you could meet the English language requirement for admission. So all the entry requirements should be stated on individual university websites. So you just have to go to the website and see what they require you to have and see how you meet the requirements. So what do you need to know when choosing universities to study your biomedical science? The most important thing, and this is something I cannot stress enough, is to make sure that the university you're trying to apply to has an IBMS accredited and HCPC uh, registered biomedical science. This is very important. So you can just check the university um, website to find out more information. If this is not stated, then it's likely that it doesn't uh, it doesn't have the IBMS accreditation. And also, if it says something about its recognition by the Royal Society of Biology and stuff like that, it is not IBMS accredited. You ought to know if a degree is accredited. Just go to the university website and look at the IBMS page to see if. It is stated there. Another way to check is go to the IBMS website and this is called the list of accredited universities for providing the BMS in biomedical sciences. In, the IBMS is the Institute of Biomedical Science and the HCPC is the Healthcare Professional Council. These two bodies are the governing bodies to ensure that every biomedical sciences know all they need to know in providing the healthcare um, service that is required while at university and also uh, when they graduate from university to become a biomedical scientist. Another thing to consider is just the city you're going to study in. Do you like the city? Do you have, uh, like the student life? Do you, would you need accommodation or would you rather study close to home where you could travel to uni or every day? Um, the days you study vary also from uh, university to university. I studied my biomedical science at the University of Bedfordshire and I was living in Luton then so it was easier for me to commute from home every day. So if you're going to move to another city you have to consider all these factors to make sure you're making the right decision because you're going to be there for at least three years or four. So you need to make sure that you are comfortable or you know all you need to know before you make such decisions. So why is accreditation important? It is highly important for your biomedical science degree to be accredited because if you work in an NHS lab or if you want to work in any diagnostics lab that's got anything to do with human tissue or that's got anything to do with human diseases, diagnosis, treatment and all the like, you can only work in such labs with an accredited degree. So if you want to work in the NHS lab or in any private lab, working with human tissue or in the diagnosis and treatment of human and diseases, you need to have your IBMS degree accredited by the IBMS and also approved by the HCPC. Without this, it would be difficult for you to um, work in such labs.
as a biomedical scientist it is not impossible there's some steps you need to take to meet up to that standard so to make life easier it's best for you to study your biomedical science in an ibms accredited and an hcpc approved university so what do you learn in your biomedical science uh, degree what you learn depends on each um, university but it's usually based on the same laid out principle by the biomedical science board so that is why it's important to have an ibms accredited degree because the universities have a standard to which they need to train or teach each student basically the core of what you will learn will be anatomy physiology pathology pharmacology clinical biochemistry molecular biology and genetics medical microbiology um, immunology virology hematology and transfusion science and cellular pathology these will form the basics of what you will learn but you also learn other things about um, research how to carry out literature review what you need to know about being a biomedical scientist so all i've listed are just things that you'll be taught but every university has their own slab of but these would form the basics of what you would be taught in your biomedical science degree how would the degree be assessed the degree will be assessed based on um, examinations some essays some coursework some group works presentation then you would have a um, case study to present so it's got various uh, ways of uh, assessing students and by that also you're able to gain communication skills, presentation skills, um, troubleshooting, uh, interpersonal skills, um, working as a team. So it's it's really good. So in your third or fourth year of your degree, depending on the route you decide to take, you will be required to carry out a laboratory experiment uh, to form part of your research um, project, which you will write up as a thesis, which you might also be required to present. So this will form uh, part of what you need to get your uh, marks up for your biomedical science so after studying your biomedical science you said that for three years or for four years what can you go on to become actually there are various uh, careers which you can pursue with your biomedical sciences you can be a biomedical scientist a clinical scientist a forensic scientist physician associate a research scientist a toxicologist a lecturer you could be a clinical research associate you could be a scientific writer, a medical writer, or you could also work in the pharmaceutical industry and be a medical sales rep. You could be a product specialist, you could be a key account manager, and all these are just uh, in relation to uh, pharmaceutical world, but that shows you how versatile the degrees. You could learn a lot, which you could apply either like in an NHS lab, or you could work in pharmaceuticals, so it's very versatile. So the degree is very versatile. The prospect is really good. You could work in various places. You could work in the NHS lab. You could work in private labs. You could work in uh, public health England. You could work on clinical trials in uh, pharmaceutical industries. You could work in the HAME, in the industry, and you could also go into research or into academics, into lecturing. It's a very comprehensive degree that gives you the opportunity to divert into various or work into various fields as much as you would like. So as I said earlier, you could go through the three year or the four year route. The three year does not give you the chance or the opportunity to have experience in the healthcare sector while the four year one does. But how can you gain experience even if you went for the three year um, course? You could gain experience by one, volunteering in an NHS lab or in, an, in a diagnostic lab. You could do this by uh, getting in touch with the laboratory manager and asking them if they can give you the opportunity to volunteer and by that you will gain some experience. Another way for gaining experience is to apply for internship or for work placement into various sectors and through this you are able to gain some experience which can come handy when you are um, going to work as a biomedical scientist. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me. I hope I've been able to share some information and clarify some um, misconception about biomedical sciences. I'll be following this video with other videos about who a biomedical scientist is and other things that are related to biomedical sciences. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Kindly subscribe and like and share and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.